Hello, ninth graders. Um, it's been a while uh, since the beginning of the year, and it's lovely to be able to speak with you again. Um, I uh, wanted to come up with a short video uh, talking about some uh, uh, supports and some options that I'm putting in place here at the end of the quarter uh, for students that are working hard to uh, raise their grade or make some progress quickly. Um, so I want to show you a couple of things uh, that, that I've added or changed, um, and I want to talk about why for a little bit. Um, part of the why behind this is that we started off with a brand new school um, and we had a lot, uh, you know, a lot of students arrive um, and, and it was a little bit of a mess. You know, we created a little bit of a, um, a, of a challenge uh, trying to navigate through a new program. And so now that we're here at the end of the quarter, uh, there's a bunch of students that are struggling to get caught up um, or to, uh, to pass their first courses in high school. And, and so I just want to be really upfront about that, that, you know, part of it's the fact that this is a new, a new endeavor. And so what I want to do is talk about some of the changes I've been making. Um, with a couple of students over the past couple of weeks, uh, actually just past, past week, uh, I've been uh, testing out pretests to see if they might be a good fit for, for uh, contemporary world problems. Uh, I think they are, but in a limited way. I think next quarter I'll probably use them kind of differently. But for right now, for the next two weeks, while you're trying to, um, you know, move through the program quickly, uh, you know, salvage a passing grade from what might seem like an overwhelming amount of late work, so to speak. Uh, so uh, there's a couple of things I want to show you. One is how to use the pretest in the guided notes. And then the other is a, a, a proposal um, or a, an outline I put into Google Classroom for, um, for a project proposal, a, a writing assignment. Okay, so let's take a quick look. Um, in Google Classroom uh, under classwork, uh, first one, most important small group Zoom schedule, come and find me. Uh, second one, teacher contact info. Uh, best thing to do is actually just call me. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how that works in just a second, but I wanted to show you where that is. And then the other one um, that I just added are the, all the guided notes and, and study guides. When you get to the bottom, um, you might have to click view more right here to see these ones. But in here are going to be guided notes for each of the lessons that, that have guided notes available. And, um, and I put the teacher version in there because I want you guys to have all the resources that, that you, that you uh, possibly can have. Um, so when you're in your uh, class, um, you will be prompted to take a pretest. And what I want you to do before you start the pretest is come over to the Google Classroom, find the guided notes that are associated with that lesson. Uh, like I said, you might have to hit, you know, view more down here. And then uh, take a look at these guided notes and see if you can, um, you know, take 15, 20 minutes to read through it really carefully uh, to see if you can kind of teach yourself what's going on with this lesson. Uh, once you're ready, come over and click the, uh, the pretest to begin. Um, you should be able to, uh, to learn the majority of the content for, the, for that lesson from the guided notes. Uh, and if you're being careful with it, if you pass, then that'll actually take you uh, all the way to the next lesson uh, instead of having to watch the um, the instruction and the assignment it'll actually just move you on to the very next lesson and, and if you pass that pretest it'll move you on to the next lesson okay or onto the unit test i guess in that case okay so once you get down a little further on there's going to be a a writing project and um, in google classroom i posted a quick um, uh, steps for the expanding democracy proposal and you can see those here. I just want to make it a little bit easier than um, the, the, assi the assignment uh, lessons that are in uh, Edgenuity. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, this uh, uh, accessing your King County Library account. So back here in Google Classroom uh, under King County, uh, you all have uh, a King County Library account, even if you don't know it. It's uh, 401 and then your seven digit student number. Uh, and then your PIN is just the last four digits of your student number. Click here and you can access it. Lots of great information there. Uh, other great information is just, you know, in regards to um, searching for the UN. So I'll, I'll um, uh, link to some of that here, but then create an outline using this and download it and submit it. Okay, last thing I want to talk to you about is the phone a friend option. So when you are about to hit submit on, uh, on a quiz in Edgenuity, what I want you guys to do is to join my Zoom or to give me a call. 
And if I'm if I'm there, if you if you catch me, um, you know, you'll be able to just meet with me really quickly. We'll review your answers together. I'm not going to give you the answers, but what I will do is help you to kind of look through the, the the questions that you've gotten, and I'll ask you questions. I'll ask you questions like, well, what do you know about that? And what do you know about that? I might provide information. Um, the students that I've been doing this with so far have really appreciated the opportunity to spend three or four or five minutes just going over their answers with me before they hit submit. And so between these things, pre-testing, uh, calling to review a, a quiz before you hit submit, and then this um, uh, information about the, the writing proposal, my hope is, is that you're able to make a lot of progress in these next couple of weeks and salvage a, a passing grade from um, what might be uh, you know, a very low amount of progress so far, or raise your grade up if, um, if, you've, if you've scored low on some of the quizzes and want to retake them or something like that. Alrighty, I hope you have a, a wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to working with you. Bye.